Hey, what up, y'all? Sir Cash here. So, I car shop from time to time, and I'm out here at this used lot called High Tech Motors. And I see this 2007 Lexus LS460. And so, I, I go look at it, and I can immediately tell the car has been wrecked, right? And I go ask the dude, hey, what's the nature of the title? Oh, the title's clean, the title is clean, the title's clean. Let me show you why a clean title doesn't mean shit. It doesn't. People wreck cars and they can still have a clean title. So let me show you what to look out for with these supposed clean title vehicles. So this is definitely one of those buy here, not even pay here dealerships, one of these cash dealerships. Let me tell you the nature of this. What they do is they go to the auction, buy these cars for like, they have this car listed for 10,000. More than likely bought this car for maybe five, four, and um, put it on the lot to double their price. Generally, you see these prices, these are double what they paid for. So as we look at the car, look at that paint, completely sunburned right there. Uh, headlights been faded to 2007, so it's not too bad as far as like, um, well, actually it is bad. Let me take that back. So, which means this car has been sitting out in the sun, uh, definitely a long time. It hasn't been washed uh, consistently. You already have bad tires on it. Now, if we look a little bit closer, you can tell this is completely out of whack. So this car has been in an accident. Like I said before, you follow, you follow the body lines and you can tell two different colors. That's, that's popped out. Um, sensors have been painted over, like I said, bad tires. That's just the front. You come over here to this side. Something else to look for. There's no uh, in the wheel well. There's supposed to be uh, rubber or plastic in there. All that's gone. Look at this. Clearly been repainted. So missing center caps. And if you look right here, you can tell there's orange peel, and you can tell this is a this is a new fender or a painted over fender and that headlight is different so obviously the nature of the impact for this car was on that side that's why it has a new headlight and a bad uh or the original light so this car has been in a wreck dude says it has a clean title let's go to the back right here if you look at the body lines too uh, you can tell there's paint on the light right there um, Body lines is really really bad That piece doesn't even fit in there, right? Asking ten thousand um, dollars You can tell that's been kind of painted over Or that's not even popped in there, right? So this is a new rear bumper too. You can tell the colors are two different colors so this car has either had one big collision or two collisions. So, look inside. Inside's pretty nice, not too bad actually. Uh, rear seats actually have the heated and cool seat uh, option. Not too bad. Headliner looks pretty good. So, hop up front. You know, normal wear and tear. Actually, it doesn't smell too bad in here, which is uh, pretty good. It's a good tell, it's a good sign that the car actually hasn't been um, flooded so but 2007 157k $10,000 for a car with a supposedly clean title that has not been wrecked that is an absolute lie that's high-tech motors and I'm not trying to call them out but in a ways I am because they're trying to sell a vehicle that they did no type of inspection on and passing it off as a clean vehicle when it obviously isn't that's the nature of the used car game that's why you really need to do your research and your due diligence before you just go hop in and get in the car even if it is a quote-unquote luxury brand so my two cents I'm trying to show y'all the uh, car game out here is real uh, real snaky that's why people don't like uh, going to car dealerships, especially used lots because they can get passed off on junk like this Honestly, this car is probably worth six and a half Maybe maybe six and a half 
I wouldn't pay more than six grand for that car, regardless of the year, make, and model, because this car is obviously wrecked. All right, y'all. Hey, the video's not over. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm actually looking at another LS at a dealership that doesn't necessarily have a name. So we're gonna go over there and we're gonna see uh, about this LS, see what kind of condition it's in and how much they're charging for it. Let's go look at it. All right, here's the LS, best choice motors. So obviously from the jump, looks a lot better. Um, the wheels are definitely more of the LS style wheels, the chromey bromies. Got good tread in it interior looks looks pretty pretty okay side view mirrors seem to be working which is good there's been a scratch on it and then look at this crap how how sway how you have one job who would want to buy a vehicle that's been smashed in by the pole. That is crazy, man. All right, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go see how much they're asking for this car. Maybe it's open. No, it's locked. I'm gonna go ask. All right. So I have the sales lady with me, right? Yes. Okay. So this is a 2008 and they want 12,000 for it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's wrecked. <laughs> so it's one year newer than the other one. Uh, it has a little less less miles, but yet they want almost three grand more. And you can tell that she doesn't even know that whoever had this wrecked it. All right, so let's wrap up today's vehicles, right? So there's a couple things I got a little wrong, but you know, it's kind of what happens when you record on the fly. So the first vehicle we saw was a 2007 at 157 K, I believe, and they wanted 10,000 for it. Now, if you check NADA, which I'll put on the screen right here, it says that a clean retail of this car is $10,000. As we've seen, and as I pointed out, this isn't a clean retail. This car shouldn't be any more than $7,000. It's a very rough, uh, this was a rough trade-in. More than likely, they got this from the auction, probably $4,000, if that. Um, just ridiculous um, markup on this car and even though the used car market is starting to creep up due to, to uh, just low vehicles I still wouldn't spend ten thousand dollars on this car so that was the first one <clears throat> the second one that we saw that was smashed in the front that the uh, saleswoman didn't even know of they wanted 13 grand and um, it's not a clean trade-in or it, it might have been a clean trade-in but it's not a clean sale so even if they do get that bumper pushback, it's obviously going to have the indentions and it depends on how hard it was hit um, because you could uh, you could push in the um, the little subframe for it or the uh, the bumper frame. And no, that car is probably worth eight. So and it had more miles. So just because it's one year newer and it has more miles doesn't mean that it's worth thirteen thousand dollars. And I'm making these videos to really show people that, hey, the people out here are shady. They are shady as hell. And they will just, they don't care uh, about your, you know, they don't care about like if you're getting a good car or not. All they want is your money. So I'm going to continue to make these series from time to time, these little episodes from time to time, just to show what cars to stay away from. And so the woman that, who was at best choice, best choice motoring you know she was kind of like oh well you know i'll talk to my manager and we'll see what we can do if you want to come back and test drive like no no person who knows about vehicles would ever go and test drive that car no why not i don't i don't and if you you need to make it more tempting because she was like well maybe we can work on the price like 
you're not about to accept what I would offer for that because no, it's 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 a done deal. You have bad presentation, bad customer service, and obviously you have a bad lot porter. So <laughs> who knows? She could have been the one who hit it and was like, oh no, I won't tell anybody until somebody comes to look at it. But anyways, I'm, I'm not trying to rag on her personally, but there's just some people who shouldn't be in the car game. And I just met two of them today at two different dealerships. They're, it makes me want to own my own car lot, which I wanted to at one point, but that's neither here nor there. So anyways, this is episode one of Untitled Episode. I don't I don't have a uh, name for it yet, so it'll probably be either in the description or, or on the title. So right now, when I'm thinking, I can't think of a name. I'm just like blown away by these garbage cars that they are that are stupid marked up that somebody will eventually buy and they didn't have like either the wisdom or have somebody with them to kind of point out the things that I have pointed out in this video but anyways that is a wrap up for the day because if I see another LS and I go nitpick it I'm gonna have another episode really quick all right y'all y'all make sure to like hit me up in the comments see if I'm if I'm being a little bit too critical or am I on point so let me know and uh, I will catch you next time